Hey, Shalom Amakim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Yahweh HaKadosh. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the sincere brethren out there pushing this word and to you sincere listeners. Just want to go into a quick lesson, which I'm probably entitled it, The Squeeze Will Get Tighter. And we see what's being rolled out, you know, out there in New York. You know, that uh, the mayor, de Blasio, announced that, uh, you know, key to NYC pass where he's, you know, basically going to be restricting, you know, certain privileges that uh, these people have in this society, man. So you're not going to be able to go to, you know, uh, restaurants or gyms if you don't have that, you know, that key to NYC pass, you know, and expect it to get worse, man. This man is going to continue to erode, you know, uh, certain privileges that these people have, you know, in uh, an attempt to get them to pretty much bow down to, you know, the new world order. And that was the whole reason why he set this society up like this, man, where you pretty much, you know, you have to rely on other people to survive. You're not uh, self-sufficient. You, you're relying on the grocery stores, you know, you're relying on the gym. You're relying on, you know, other venues, you know, to get certain things out of life. There is no uh, autonomy here. Okay. So he can use this, you know, to coerce people into doing what he wants them to do by, you know, pulling the rug out from under them. And these people will bug out because they no longer have access to these, uh, you know, different services. So they're more likely to comply to, you know, his demands, man. Okay. But we've been preparing ourselves, you know, for these things. Okay, and we have to continue to endure, you know, all the things that this man is getting ready to, to take away, man. All right. That's, you know, part of the hour of temptation. Okay. Him saying you can't do certain things to try to, you know, get a, a carnal response from you so you can take, you know, uh, the haragma ultimately. You know, so I just want to go into a quick lesson. You know, it's not going to be uh, too long you know i'm just hit some points and we're gonna wrap it up this is uh second timothy two and i'll start at three it says thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of yahweh shai hamashiach and that's the main goal is to endure you know because it's gonna get rough man you know as the title uh states you know the squeeze is gonna get tighter so he's going to you know take away more privileges you know and it's gonna get it's gonna get harder out here man all right, but what, what does the scripture say? It says, thou therefore endure hardness. And that word endure means to make hard, you know? It says, thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. And this is what we've been preparing ourselves for, man. This is the reason why we've separated ourselves from the world, you know? So when these things happen to us, you know, we're, we're, we're mentally prepared for these things. And who are we going to rely on? Who are we going to lean on? We're going to lean on Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. Verse 4, it says, No man that warth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life. So we ain't worried about what's going on here, man. Our main focus is, are we pleasing Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai or not? Okay? Because the Heavenly Father has the ability to provide all these things that Esau Edom says he's going to take away. You know? One of the main things being access to, you know, these supermarkets. That's that is coming, man. He is gonna tell you that if you don't, you know, you don't have his uh medical procedures, that you're not gonna be able to go into the grocery store. Okay. But, you know, we're gonna endure that, man. Okay? And wait for, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to uh provide for us. Okay, we're not gonna get caught up in what these people have going on. You know, it says no man that warth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. OK, so what, what is our main focus? Our main focus is pleasing Yahweh Shai. We got a mission man, and our mission is to endure unto the end. So these different things that Esau Edom is getting ready to roll out, you know, we have to uh, endure these things, you know. Cast off the flesh, deny the flesh, and, you know, uh, focus in on uh, uh, pleasing Yahweh Shai in the spirit, man.
Okay, because the, the carnal individual is going to succumb to the tactics of Esau, Edom. You know, if you are caught up in this life, you are caught up in this world, you know, things are going to be taken away from you, man. You know, even certain, uh, you know, hobbies that you have, you ain't going to be able to do those things no more. Okay, so we have to endure these things as good soldiers of Yahweh Hamashiach, man. Okay, and not bow down to Esau Edom and give in to his demands. All right, because we see the bigger picture here, you know. Our main goal is to please Yahweh Shem Yahushua. We've been warned of these things, you know, they're all, you know, uh, uh, these privileges, because that's what they are. You know, this man uh, uh, allows you to do certain things in the society. You don't really have rights, you know. Anything that he allows you to do in this society can be taken away from you, man. It's like oh, your, your car, you know. You go out, you buy a car, you think, oh, yeah, this is my whip. You know, you can drive it around and whatnot. But what do you need to operate, you know, uh, that vehicle? You need a license. You need insurance, you know. And he can take those away from you. Or you have to register the car, you know. If you don't do those things, he can take your, your uh, you know, vehicle away from you. It shows you that it's a privilege, man. Okay. So we're not, you know, caught up in all these things, man. We, got, we have a main focus. We utilize these tools, you know. But we're not putting all our heart into these things. What does the scripture say? You know, uh, the things of this world are temporal. All right. This is 2nd Ezra 16 and 40. It says, Oh, my people, hear my word. Make you ready to thy battle. And in those evils, be even as pilgrims upon the earth. And this is the mindset that we have to be in. A pilgrim is pretty much just a sojourner, man. They're not, you know, caught up in anything that they have uh, going on in that particular place that they're in, man. Like these uh, Muslims, well, you know, before this whole thing went down, <laughs> they made the pilgrimage over to Mecca. Now, when they go over there, they're not, you know, invested in that, that city, man. You know, they're not really worried about what's going on there because they're just passing through. You know, they're over there for a, a certain purpose. And once they fulfill that purpose, they move on, you know. And that's the mindset that we have to have in this society right now. Okay, even more so. You know, we got to be like pilgrims, man. We just passing through. Okay, don't get attached to anything that's here. Because this damn devil will use it to try to get you to bow down to his new world order, man. And you see it happening already. You say you can't go to the restaurants and the gyms. That's just the start, you know. And see, he's doing it like this, you know, to get people pretty much on his side. You know, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you shouldn't be able to go to the gym or a restaurant. You know, uh, 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 without it, you know, and then the, the justification that this damn devil uses that, oh, you know, see, the restaurants was hit hard during uh, uh, the pandemic. But the reason for that is because you, you shut the, the restaurants down. You told them they couldn't open when the studies came out that, you know, this thing wasn't prevalent amongst the uh, 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 restaurants, you know. Or you could go and, and, and protest for uh, uh, George Floyd and, and, and Breonna Taylor. And all these other, uh, uh, you know, individuals. And, you know, that's cool. You know, there's no spread going on there. But you go to a restaurant, all of a sudden, you know, it comes out and starts uh, uh, getting people. You know, it's, 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 it's all BS, man. You know, he's just using this to try to get people to submit to what he wants them to do. Okay. But see, if you're not attached to all these things, if this ain't your main focus, this ain't what you're living for, then it's not going to affect you that much. You know, yeah, we go to restaurants, you know, we go to the gym, but that's not that's not what we are, man. You know, that's not our main focus in life. Our main focus is pleasing you how about shimmy how shy. And there's no way that he can take that privilege or that right away from you, man. Pleasing the heavenly father. All right. Verse uh, 41, it says he that selleth, let him be as that fleeth away. So if you got like a business. Expect that to be taken away from you as well, man. You can't sell. Well, the scriptures say that. Revelation 13, uh, 16, you know, that uh, he may not uh, buy or sell, save he to have the, uh, the haragma, man. So it has to be in your mindset, too. Everything that you see you got going on, you know, your apartment, your, uh, your car, your house, you know, 
hell, even your 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 woman and your children, man, can be taken away from you. You know, this is just something that you have to have in your mind, okay, and be willing to depart from it for your habashim, your habashai sake. You gotta be willing to sacrifice, man. The scriptures tell you, he that loveth his life shall lose it. You know, but he that loseth his, his life for my sake shall gain life eternal. It says, he that selleth, let him be as he that fleeth away, and he that buyeth as one that will lose. Okay? The possessions that you got, hey, you know, this man could tell you, look, you can't uh, have an apartment if you don't got, uh, you know, these different medical procedures, man. It says, he that occupieth merchandise as he that hath no profit by it, and he that buildeth as he that shall not dwell therein. All right. It says, he that soweth as if he should not reap, so also he that planteth the vineyard as he that shall not gather the grapes. Okay. So that's the mindset you got to have. Be, pretty much be ready to drop everything, man. Like that movie, uh, Heat, you know, with uh, Robert De Niro and Al Pacino. You know, they were sitting down at the table and, uh, you know, Robert De Niro he made the statement, you know, something to the effect like, you know, you got to be willing to drop anything in 30 seconds when you see the heat uh, uh, coming down the street, man. OK, because if you don't, that 30 second window, you hesitate and you, you liable to get caught up, you know. So if you got a, a, a problem, you know, uh, letting go of certain things, you you might fall, man. OK, because this damn devil is and will use these things against you. You know, if you all in your car, he going to use that. Well, you can't drive unless you, you got this thing. Go, oh, oh, man, then I love that car. You know, I want to give up my car. I'm, I, I got to go ahead and take it. man. I can't I can't let go of my baby. You know, I put all this time and, and, and energy into it. Hey, man, what's more important, your car or your how about show me how shy? You know, and that's just one example. You know, other people into certain things that this damn devil will eventually attack and use that to get at you carnally to try to get you to submit, you know. And we just have to endure those things and, and, and deal with it. Please, Yahweh, Shemihah, Shah. Uh, verse 44 says, they that marry as they that shall uh, get no children and they that marry not as the widows. And therefore, they that labor, labor in vain. For strangers shall reap their fruits and spoil their goods, overthrow their houses and take their children captives. For in captivity and famine shall they get children. And they that occupy their merchandise with robbery, the more they deck their cities, their houses, their possessions, and their own persons, the more will I be angry with them for their sin, saith the Lord, Yahabashim Yahabashai. Like as a whore envieth a right, honest, and virtuous woman, so shall righteousness hate iniquity, when she decketh herself, and shall accuse her to her face, when he cometh, that shall defend him that diligently searcheth out sin upon earth. Okay? And that's what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to do. Okay? At the end of the day, the individuals that stay true to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh will be rewarded. Esau Edom's going to get taken out, man. All right? But our main focus is to, you know, stay true to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Okay, and not let these different things that Esau Edom is getting ready to, you know, take away from you. Okay, don't let those things, you know, get to you and you forsake Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, as the scriptures say, endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And the more, you know, he puts the squeeze on it, the harder and harder it's going to get, man. Okay, but, you know, we've been made hard in shy to endure these hard things, man. Okay, so I just wanted to go into that. Yahabashim Yahushai willing. It was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahushai. Bahashim Yahushai. Double honors to the elders and apostles. A great millstone. Shalom.